In a way, the wonder is that America is the leading scientific nation, despite having this incubus round its neck um, of, of a, an uncultured, ignorant, almost majority. <laughs> The United States must be an interesting destination for you. It has a large number of uh, people who uh, are very evangelical or uh, strong believers in religion. Uh, and at the same time, it has some of the best universities in the world and a lot of great minds. What is your experience like lecturing yes. there? Um, the United States is beyond doubt the leading scientific nation in the world ever. Uh, and uh, flourishes. It also has, as you've said, uh, it's dragged down in a way by the sort of other half, um, which is the fundamentalist, uh, not quite majority, but, but not far from 50%, um, who actually believe absurdities like that the world is only a few thousand years old. In a way, the wonder is that America is the leading scientific nation, despite having this incubus round its neck um, of, of a, an uncultured, ignorant, almost majority. Um, you can't help wondering what it would be like if we didn't have that, that burden. Um, when I go to America, uh, I tend to interact, I suppose, mostly with university people. Um, I give talks. Um, often in the Deep South, and uh, get a very, very good reception there. I get perhaps my best reception in the so-called Bible Belt. For reasons you can guess, I mean, I think the people who come are the beleaguered minority, uh, and they show really rather touching gratitude when people like me go to their to, to go to Arkansas or, or, or Georgia, whatever it is. But presumably you face a lot of hostility as no, well. No, I don't. No? Um, I get a lot of hostil hostile mail, but they don't come to my hmm. lectures. I wish they would. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind having, a, having an argument, um, but they don't come. They, they stand outside and hand out leaflets. They don't actually come in. <laughs>